Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern, and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And here we are, we're in 2023, and uh, let's hope it's a better year than last year, with everything go that's going on in the world. So yeah, so let's just see what this year brings. Hopefully, regarding this layout, we should have this station finished hopefully by the end of February, if not sooner, um, but uh, we shall see. I haven't got my crystal ball at the moment, so I can't really tell you how long it's going to take to do the canopies, but the reason for the holder for the canopies is their design, um, basically. Um, I want to try and keep it as simple as possible. Um, but it's the fascia that goes around the edge of the canopies is, is something I want to try and make a little bit different to other canopies that I have done before. So, let's get started. So here we are, we're back at the bench and I'm working on these um, canopy supports and I've just finished painting up these station announcement speakers um, just finishing them up um, yeah you, these are the merit you get the four speakers you get uh, a set of fire buckets uh, a station clock and a waste paper bin. Now you only get one set in a packet, so yeah, so that's those, that's the station announcement speakers, and that finishes off these columns. So the next stage is to build the canopy. We're over at South Shields, and I'm just looking at this canopy that's overhanging the little platform here at the goods yard or the goods shed area and uh, yeah so I'm thinking maybe do something along this design um, but yeah but it won't be exactly the same as this because it hasn't got the supporting columns and it doesn't stick out as far only sticks out about uh, 50 mil but the canopy that overhangs the platforms over at Chara Road is 62 mil so yeah so I'm just taking a little bit of inspiration from this one and here we have a drawing um, basically I've got a few measurements together here um, the actual brackets I'm going to be using or braces that's going to support the roof so we've got 56 mil um, it's going to have a 2 mil card running along this edge which will then push it out to 58 mil and then we've got our 14 mil fascia which was going to be glued on the on the on the front of there but that's going to have a piece of card glued in there at 1 mil as well so we'll we can make up the frame and then stick the fascia to the frame once all the frame is finished and then we just finish it off with two strips of card cross there cross there and what we'll have we'll have a quarter round edge along that edge there which will um, support the actual roof so yes yeah, so we've got our sizes here as I said earlier, we've got 62 mil. That's from the, the back wall to the edge of the platform, which is there. We've got 38 mil, which will be to the underside of the fascia. The actual columns themselves are 47 mil. So, and that's to the top of this uh, brick edge that was glued all the way around the walls. So, yeah. So, first thing we've got to do is make lots of these supporting brackets
I've made a template um, to make all these braces with. There's 38 of these braces, so that's 19 per side. Um, yes, this template is made from 1.5 mil plywood, the same plywood I used to make the bridge last week. And uh, this is the profile I'm after. So, let's start marking these out. Now the reason why I use the plywood is it's hardy and it won't wear out. So, just got to make sure your pencil is nice and sharp for doing this. And as you can see, I built to get of quite a few of these out of this strip. As long as these edges are nice and square when we cut them out. Right, so I've cut all my um, supports out using my trusty old template and what I'm doing now I'm just checking to make sure that the template or the card fits the template that I've made before I start gluing on these 5mm strips. Uh, once these 5mm strips are glued on it forms like a T-shaped I-beam or an I-beam and uh, by gluing that onto there, it does two things. It stiffens up the card and it also allows the columns to have something to stick to because it will be stuck to the underside of this um, support. So it's just important that I keep the T shape so it looks yeah, it just forms that nicely, just got to make sure that T is square and uh, that then is that, that's done, so that's another one done, there's 38 of these to make um, not all 38 will have a column on it but uh, if they're all look the same it keeps the build uniform so that's another one just take the excess glue off. And now we come to the fun part, actually building the canopy. So here we have the end of the canopy and these spacings here, 60mm spacings are for the actual roof supports. So as you can see, I've got a 60 mil center line and I've just come off half a mil. So these end up at 60 mil centers. Um, yeah, so I'm just super gluing these in, a little bit of super glue on this edge. And super glue along that line. Now with this card being very absorbent, once dry, this will be a solid fix. Just lining it up with a line. Make sure it's flush with the top, flush with the bottom. And then just hold it in place for a couple of seconds. Now this canopy is uh, 820 mil long so there's quite a few of these to glue in place and there we go that's three on and what will happen is we'll have a support here then miss one and then another support all the way down the platform so we shall see what that looks like, hopefully, <laughs> in about a week's time. Because it's going to take me at least a week or so to build these frames. 
Right, so moving on a little bit, uh, as you can see we've got the first of the canopy frameworks together. Um, there we've got the back support on and the front support on. Um, this is just to tie in all these um, supports. Um, it's hanging down a little bit on the inside um, of three millimeters. Um, so this will be the uh, supporting uh, face as it works because we still got the um, fascia to go on this if, if you like so that's just like I said to tie it all in um, yeah so let's go and see how it looks on the platforms and this is what it looks like on the platform um, so it's just held in place <laughs> just precariously it's sitting on that brick ridge that we put on on the wall um, it's not very straight at the moment hopefully when I add the stiffness front and back and that will straighten up the whole canopy and it'll sit flush uh, against the brick wall um, yeah so every other support will have one of these columns so there'll be one in this corner and then this one and then one there and so on and so on um, yeah and that should uh, look a treat when it comes down to this angle when it's finished um, yeah, like I said, it will be glazed, and uh, yeah, so, so that's what it looks like at the moment. Now we're focusing on putting on the panelling, if you like. So I've already put the top piece on, and as you can see, it's still slightly bent even though I've kept it flush with the edge to try and straighten it up um, so what we're going to put on now is the paneling that goes across here now if you notice on the template it, there's a little flat there and basically what I want to do is put the card across the flat and then come up five millimeters and then have an, an overhang of about three millimeters and this is the strip of card that I have cut for that. Now if you notice there is a very fine score mark there, 5 million from the edge. So I'm just going to fold that over and um, that then will sit like that when it's folded and create a, a slight lip and then we can then glue it on. So we'll just open up the groove that I've already placed into the card you see that's opening it up quite nicely now but basically what I want to do I want to create a sharp edge on the top side as well so in order to do that once I've opened it up opened this groove up as best as I can is to try and fold it back but as you can see there's lots of little creases I want to get rid of them so I'm just going to rub my fingernail down the inside of that and that seems to have made the creases disappear so take your time just make sure you don't wander off then we'll get a nice even fold right so now all that is ready to be glued onto this now to make sure that we've got the three mil overhang this is where my three foot rule is going to come in handy because as you can see you lay the rule in it's flush with this end it's flush with that end but we have a gap in the middle so if I just push that it straightens the whole thing up 
So we've got to keep that straight while we glue this piece in there. And the gap, once we remove the rule, that's where the glazing is going to go. So before I glue this piece of card in place, there's a couple of things that I've done. I have added some insulation tape um, to the rule, which helps keep the rule in place. And I've put some extra bits of card on the inside of this very, very thin uh, one mil card here. That's just to give us uh, more adhesion for the glue. So I'm just gluing this on now. Bear in mind I've got to stay away from the rule so I don't want to glue the rule in place. So I'm just running the glue all the way along this edge. It's very absorbent this card, as you can see it's, the glue is disappearing, so I'm just putting just a little bit more on it. Hopefully that's got it. So I'll just leave that there for a few minutes. And hopefully that's kept that canopy nice and straight. So now I'm playing catch up with the left hand canopy. Um, so all I'm doing here is gluing on the front um, fascia support as it were using super glue onto the I-beam and um, just gently placing the card on top of that but keeping it flush with the top of the fascia and just before it settles I'm just checking to make sure that we have our centers correct 56 there and 56 there and hopefully that should stay nice and straight as we go along so there we go we're catching up with the left hand side canopy now it's virtually the same as the right hand side um, there's no no real difference so yeah so there we are left hand
So we've got a three mil lip there all the way along that edge. And that's uh yeah, that should hopefully be enough to do a 13mm drop along that front. And this is what it looks like with both canopy frames in place. Yep, it's starting to take shape. There's still a lot more work to do to these uh, before they're finished. Um, the left hand one um, has got to catch up with the right hand one. Um, the right hand one has already started to put in the glazing supports and uh, once that's done uh, I've got to add the fascia that goes around the front and the side and then we can paint it and then add the glazing and then fix it back to the wall hopefully it will straighten itself out a little bit Still a slight bend in it, but uh, the wall's even worse, but uh, I'm sure it'll all pull together when it's glued. Um, yeah, and that's why I've made it like this, so these joints stay flexible. I didn't want to put corner pieces in, I didn't want to make it too rigid. I want to have a little bit of uh, flexibility so when it is glued to the wall, it can move. And... Um, secure it to the wall and hopefully it'll straighten itself up. Alright so I think we've done quite well this week and um, that brings us to the end of the video. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye.